Hi. If I were to say that this is the best cordless jigsaw on the market, my comments box would be overflowing. So I'm going to say it's my favourite one. And actually it's my favourite one as from today because I mislaid my loyal, faithful Hitachi industrial quality jigsaw that I've had since 1989 uh, when I wrote various books on woodworking. And I'm in the middle of a job and I need to cut some chair templates out of a sheet of 8x4 plywood. So I'd already got uh, these batteries. In fact, I'd invested in a wonderful little cordless uh, vacuum cleaner. Forget that brand that begins with D. This is much better value for money. You know, it lasts a long time. The suction's fairly good. And of course I can use the batteries. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I can use the batteries on other tools. So in the back of my mind, I thought, well, I've already got two of these batteries, admittedly only three amp hours, but if I've got two of them, I've got no problem with, you know, running out of power. So I bought this online, so anybody who's thinking I'm in the pocket of Makita, I'm not. Uh, Makita probably wouldn't even know who I am, but 30 years ago they would know because I wrote a book called The Incredible Router. And my very first router was a Makita, in fact this one, this very router. Okay, so back to the plot. This is a great, a great, powerful, I've just cut through some wood like absolute butter. I mean it just shows uh, the state of technology today. This has to be amongst the leaders. Most of you guys know that. So what can I say? It's heavy. Some people think that's a minus point but actually with a, with a, a jigsaw because it naturally wants to bounce up that extra weight makes it an absolute singe for uh, using. It's got a soft start and I do like the way the blade inserts really easily. I'm terrible at uh, reading manuals, <laughs> so uh, it took me a few seconds to figure out. And it's got this plastic casing, which apparently is for cutting veneers and other delicate surfaces. And so I removed that as well as the plastic guard because for normal use that just clogs up with uh, sawdust. Now this model didn't come with the dust takeoff. But I think you either need a very powerful blower or a powerful sucker because I'm constantly blowing away manually uh, the debris which obliterates the line. So um, it comfortably cuts through some three quarter inch Brazilian pine plywood. And when I've got time I will do a test to see just how you know how how long a cut you can make so as a tool for reducing the size of bulky bits of plywood or MDF which are going to be cut later on a bandsaw uh, this really is an ideal tool and the build quality yeah it, it's good old Makita I mean they're still up there and interestingly this one is made in the United Kingdom do we still build things in Britain thanks for watching